Hello and welcome to Instrumentation Hub. Today's video is really interesting. If you are preparing for interviews, then you are on the right video. In this video, we are going to discuss interview questions with their answers of control system subject. After watching this video, you will be able to answer the question in your interviews. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's begin with the very first question that is what is control system? This is really a basic question that any interviewer can ask you. So let's see the answer for this. The control system is a system designed to measure and control the physical parameters. Physical parameters like temperature, level, pressure, flow, humidity, vibration, speed, etc. The control system which measures these physical parameters and gives us controlled output. Okay? So, next question. Explain the block diagram of the control system. Let's see how to answer this question. While answering this question, you can say block diagram of the control system majorly includes six parameters that are input, error detector, controller, process or plant, output and most important feedback. Now you have to explain this one by one. First, first is the input. You can say input is a signal which is applied to the system from external natural or from the man-made man sources. Okay. Next is error detector. Error detector is a device which is used to find the difference between feedback and the input and send it to the controller to take the appropriate action to match input and output signal of the system. Now controller. Controller is a device which is performs the control action to match input signal with our required output or the set point. You can say controller is a heart of the control system. Next component is process or plant. At this point the control system performs the actual control action like turning on or off the control valve, turning on of the motor, it depends on application. Next parameter is output. The response obtained from the control system is output. And the last term is feedback. Feedback is basically the output signal is provided to the error detector to, to find the error so that next output signal can be exactly matched to our set point. Feedback are really important while designing the control systems. It plays major role while you are designing the control system for process industries. Okay, so that is answer for the block diagram of the control system. Let's see the next question. What are the different types of control system? And the answer is first classification that is based on the feedback different types are open loop control system and closed loop control system i just said that this classification is depend on the feedback so how in open loop control system the feedback is not present whereas in closed loop control system the feedback is present now second classification Second classification is based on the superposition principle. Classification is linear control system and non-linear control system. Linear control system follows the superposition principle whereas non-linear control system does not follow the superposition principle. It is that simple. Now next classification. This classification is based on the time, time analysis. The classification is time variant control system and time invariant control system. In time variant control system, the output of the control system varies with respect to time. Whereas in time invariant control system, 
the output does not varies with respect to time you understood you have to reply in such a way that interviewer knows that you have better understanding of the concepts so whenever you give the answer try to elaborate it for example we have seen the different types of control system i have explained you these types additional i have told you that what are the types on which basis we have divided these types and short explanation of the types so while giving the answers try to elaborate it in one sentence so that interviewer will impress by your answer okay chalo next question give me the advantages of open loop control systems so let's see the what are the advantages of the control system while giving the answer of this question initially you can introduce what is open loop control system and then give the advantages of the control system okay let's see how to quickly introduce the open loop control system a system in which control action depends on the input signal and it's totally independent of the output signal it's called as open loop control system the feedback and error detector does not present okay now let's see what are the advantages of the open loop control system first is it is really simple in construction as it does not have any feedback no error detector so it is simply designed using controller and some input output devices it is easy to design it has late maintenance these type of systems are really convenient to use they are stable for some time extent and they are cheaper so these are some advantages of the control system okay you have to answer in this way let's see next question next is disadvantages of the control system open loop control system even if they are asking the disadvantages you have to still give the introduction of the question what is the open loop control system and then give the disadvantages of that at the beginning you can introduce what is open loop control system in one sentence like open loop control system is a system which gives output which is depends on the input but it does not provides the feedback and it does not have the error detector and give the disadvantages now it has less bandwidth it does not have the feedback so sometimes it gives the inaccurate readings comparatively to closed loop systems and these systems are unreliable now see the next question advantages of closed loop control system again introduce what is closed loop system let's see a closed loop system is a system in which controlling action depends on the output of the system the major part that is feedback like feedback is present in the closed loop system the feedback is helps to give the accurate readings to reduce the error now you can say that's why the closed loop system has the higher accuracy feedback is present hence the automation is possible the system has high bandwidth the closed loop system can be made more stable by adjusting the sensitivity of the control system okay got it now next question what are the advantages of closed loop control system what are the disadvantages of closed loop control system for this just introduce what is closed loop control system in one sentence and then give the disadvantages of it the control system whose output is depend on the feedback provided by, to the error detector and the input of the system now the disadvantages closed loop system have high cost these are bit complicated to design and have more maintenance cost while giving the answers just remember one thing whatever you are saying 
you should be able to explain that thing if they requests you if they ask you how the closed loop control system have high cost how can you can say that so you can say there are two major components are included in closed loop system that is error detector and feedback so providing the feedback from output to input it required some devices extra devices so the cost of the control system increases okay got it good let's move to the further questions next question is what is transient response whenever interviewer ask you the question just remember this block diagram sorry it's a diagram output signal this is the output signal of the control system which is respect to time and this control system have a set point so ideally the output of the control system should be near to the set point now let's see what is a transient response you can see transient response is a time taken by the control system to reach the final value or the set point okay additionally you can say transient response says the nature of the output it also gives the speed of the control system the transient response is vanishes after some time okay good to go next fine now the next question what is steady state response you can ex- explain this by the same diagram you can say steady state response is a final value achieved by the control system additionally you can say steady state response provides the information about error or the difference between desired output and the actual output it also gives the accuracy of the system how the control system giving the accurate response okay you got it friends interviewer ask you so basic questions literally ekdam basic questions so you have you have to study some fundamentals of every subject if your fundamentals are good then you can crack any interview i hope the video was useful to you if you have any doubt please let me know in the comments i will try to clear your doubt if you have understood this concept in this video then good but if not there is no need to worry i have explained this all these terms in my previous videos in detail so you can watch those videos and clear your doubt so thanks for watching this video and good luck for your interview tata bye bye don't forget to like share and comment